my hair you guys my hair is short so today's video welcome back to my channel hi my name is elizabeth now i want to go ahead and talk about my very short haircut it's been a full year of me growing up my hair the last time i got a haircut was december 2019 so all 2020 i did not get a haircut and I really needed one. So I'm going to show you later in the video my before and afters. But my hair was very uneven. I had a lot of split ends. And I just needed something different. And I got something a lot different. My hair is very short. Shorter than expected. But I like it. I'm getting used to it. So that's what I want to show you guys in today's video. I want to go ahead and show you before and afters. I do have some clips of me getting the haircut. And we're just talking. That's what we're going to do. So today's the day where I get a much needed haircut. As you can see, this side, well, only this part is really elongated, but she told me to come in with absolutely no product. My hair is clean, dry, clearly nothing is in it. So this is the before and I'll go ahead and show you the after. But let me turn around so you can see how my hair really looks. Usually when I get a haircut the first day, I never like it. So I'm kind of expecting that. It takes me a while to grow onto things. So I don't know, man. I'm ready. Maybe you might love it off the bat. I might. And she used, I think, Innersense. So that's like a really clean brand that I never tried before. And I believe she used it at her salon. So I'm even more excited. New product alert. Yes, Anthony. Yes. Do you mind? I just like the way you're sitting. Oh, so this is like a completely new person. I found her on Instagram. So I'm like, I hope it's good. I think I think it's going to be good because I saw her Instagram. I just know that usually when I, ooh, it's kind of crooked. <laughs> I just know that usually when I get a haircut, I never like it the first day. I, oh, I don't even know, man. I know when I get a haircut, I never like it on the first day. So it takes me some time to, you know, grow into it. So I don't know. I'm just hopeful. I just know that this little part is going to get cut off. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. Oh, I should probably go in now. Okay, I'll be back. Yeah. I can already see it. Um, tell me more. Oh, I got a curly hair YouTube channel, so Do that's you? pretty much why I know so oh, much. What's your YouTube channel? So this is how my hair is currently looking. You can see that it is very short and I do have, it's more of a rounded cut and everything is just blended in and it's looking very bouncy. This is how my hair is looking at the moment. So I am growing out my bangs at the moment. So she didn't really trim too much from the front. She just really focused on the back and making it more rounded out. 2021 is all about hair growth. I'm going to be doing a lot of... I'm not going to say DIYs because I don't really do that, but I am going to focus on hair growth with products that I'm going to buy in the future. So a lot of things with like peppermint, rosemary, things that are going to help clean my scalp and to promote hair growth. I'm going to be doing that all 2021. But in my hair at the moment, I got these two products. This is a Shea Moisture Leave-In mixed with the Curl Junkie Gel, Pattern Pusher Gel. And with this gel, it has been my go-to when I have my hair long. And it's going to be my go-to now that I have it short because it gives me such a good day two look. Very voluminous. Yeah, that's the two products in my hair at the moment. You're going to keep it short? I'm not going to keep it this short. I'm going to grow it out. But I do want it to be like maybe like this. Maybe like an inch longer I know so bright but better so you can see this cut so these two products are in my hair like I just mentioned and with this hair length this shape this overall look I feel like I'm gonna really embrace the more fluffy bigger side to my hair because I've always been team definition than volume but I don't want to have my hair like looking super way down with this cut I need something so I am gonna be using this gel more often and looking for things that give me a more 
light hold, voluminous. Don't get me wrong, I still have my Sultanical Gel and my Eco Slave Strong Hold Gel, but I might be a little lighter hand with it because I want to have like a little bit more movement. So that's what's in my hair. That is my haircut. That was the before, this is the after. And like I said, I do have to get used to this haircut. It's a big transition for me. Like. I was not expecting to go this short, but I'm not mad about it. I think it still looks nice, very curly. My curls feel very healthy. So that's all I wanted to mention in this video with the lighting dimming down. So it's been about two weeks since I got my hair cut and I really do like it. I went today to see her because there was a little part that was a little uneven in the back. She hooked it up. Everything looks super good. So I am really happy with my haircut. And I just wanted to show you guys what's in my hair at the moment because this is gonna be my go-to gel for real. I have the Curl Junkie Powder Pusher Gel mixed with this new product right here, which is by Briani. This is the Weightless Detangler, and I really do like how this is as a base. Very slippery, non-heavy at all. This is day two hair at the moment, and let's sit that down. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how my hair looks. Very simple, very soft, very fluffy. I like it a lot. So. I think that's it. Let's continue with the video. If you're team short hair, let me know down below. Like, it was so crazy. I tried to put my hair up in a ponytail, and it's like, I couldn't do that. I mean, I could do it, but it was like so small. It looked like a little bunny's tail. And if you're watching the video to this point, leave me a haircut emoji. That makes the most sense. I'll show you guys what the emoji looks like. That way, I know you're watching the video to this point. And is there anything else you want to say, Anthony? Any last words for this? What did you think, uh, to be honest, like when you saw me with this short hair, what did you think? Well, first you sent me a picture when uh, uh, you were getting it done. It was white and you were like, oh my God, so short. And I saw your hair, I'm like, it's short. And you only showed me like a little downwards angle. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, it's going to shrink up a lot. Yeah. And then you came out the car, or came in the car, I'm like, it's short. But it, it is good. short, yeah. But it looked really good. I thought it looked really nice on you. And it's funny because I've always wanted short hair. Like, I showed Anthony pictures. Like, you know, one day, like, I would like to go short. I showed him, like, a little bit shorter hair, too. I wasn't expecting to go short this time, but I guess we're doing it. I've been looking at a lot of um, Instagram of girls with, like, short hair, too. And they're rocking it, so I'm like, I'm going to do it, too. So, Yes, leave me a hair cutting emoji down below. Let me know if your team short hair, if you are growing out your hair, what are some tips to do that? Because like I said, all 2021, I'm going to be using a lot of products to help grow out my hair because I do want to grow it out, of course, but I want it to be still short, if that makes sense. So let's chat down below. And if you guys find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.